red. Code, code red. Code red. Code flipping red. Ho effing G. I got some urgent good news and some whole bad news, man. God dang it. Squad! Well, how's it going, Squad Nation? It, it is your boy. And today, we are back with another video, bro. Oh my God, listen. I actually, before I actually get this video started, I actually wanna make a massive shout out to this dude, uh, Max Tang, I think that's his name is. I'll put post, um, I'll put like a screenshot somewhere on, on screen. You know what I'm saying? Shouts to him. If it wasn't for him, I probably would never know about this information, bro. So shouts to him. He actually got this from a red post, right? Uh, and this red post comes from a guy who was a who was a GameStop employee, right? And he basically had like you know how was actually how a, a Bondi employee. I don't think it's a representative, but I think it's a blonde a, a Bondi employee, right? He actually came into his store, and basically they were talking shop about you know the Budokai Tenkaichi Four, you know, you know what I'm saying being official, being a thing, right? And now obviously both of them are like excited for it. Now the Bondi employee, well. Apparently, according to the red post, now again, this is complete. Take this with a grain of salt. You know, what I'm saying this could obviously be fake. This could absolutely 110% be absolute fake. But in the red post, there's there's a, some a little bit of good news, right? Uh, in his in the post, uh, the and the Bandai employee told the GameStop employee that apparently that bondi is looking for a september release window for this game now whether it's going to be september of this year again th they didn't confirm that but it might be the freaking case because again like i said like this game could pretty much happen and like this year like in the fall because like you say you know what i'm saying like every because like i said as many times i've said in many of my videos Every Dragon Ball game that has been released has that every game that ha every Dragon Ball game that's been announced has always released either in the same year or always like the year after. And only Xenoverse 2 and Super Dragon Ball World Mission, which is the two recent games that we have you know, that in the recent Dragon that Dragon Ball recent games that has only been released in the exact same year that has been, you know, announced in, right? But like I said, this post could be absolute fake. You know what I'm saying? Hold this with a grain of salt. But in that Reddit post, this game is actually going to be releasing. Apparently, apparently, I just want to say again, like I said, this, this post could be absolute fake. It might release on PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X. Bro, just the, just hearing PS4 already has chills down my spine because it's gonna turn into a flipping Xenoverse 1. They're going to repeat their mistake with Xenoverse. Oh God, why? For those that don't know, you know, Xenoverse 1, it, it's a good game. You know what I'm saying? Xenoverse 1, when it first came out, it was a good game, right? But Xenoverse 2 came out, and that was a better game. And pretty much what pretty much everybody in the in the Dragon Ball community has always said, Xenoverse 1 should have been what Xenoverse 2 was, basically. You know what I'm saying? The only reason it was not the case was mainly because of the fact that Xenoverse 1 was held back by past gen hardware by the ps3 and the xbox 360 during that time because during that time the ps4 and the xbox one were the new gen consoles right now we're in obviously we're in the in this era with the new gen is ps5 xbox series x now of course obviously the game's going to be releasing for the ps5 and xbox series x that's cool but then it's also going to release on the PS4. Why? Flipping why? Why the PS4? Why any past gen hardware, period? Like, dog. I, like again, I, say, I say this again. Again, this is, 
this post could be fake, so take it with a grain of salt. But if this is flipping true, if this leak is true, dog, I I don't even know what to say, bro. Cause I the last thing we need is this game to be hindered by past gen hardware. Again, I say this again. We do not want a repeat of what Xenoverse 1, okay? We do not want a repeat of that. But, oh my god, if this leak is true... Oh, Bondi, 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 if you're watching, please do not... Bondi, I beg of you. Please. Please. Just release Budokai Tenkaichi 4 for the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Do not bother with releasing on PS4 and Xbox One, okay? Learn from your mistake. Learn what happened with Xenoverse 1. Y'all, y'all want to be very lenient with the Dragon Ball fans to release this game for the Xbox 360 and the PS3 during that time when, again, the new gen at that time was PS4 and Xbox One. You should just release it for, you should release that game for those two consoles. Those two, similar situation. You have to release it only for the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, bro. You have to release Blue Cat Tech for, for the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Dog, Brother Bear, please do not, do not repeat your mistakes, Bondi. Do not, all right? I want this game to succeed as possible. And the last thing we all need is this game to be hindered back by any past gen con console period or past gen hardware period, bro. I'm so dead serious, but oh my God. But again, like I said, if this post is like, again, this post, this post could be completely fake. You know what I'm saying? The, like the this, this, the whole story of this post could have been fake, you know what I'm saying? Blase, blase. But again, like this is true. Like, Gudos, if it's September and it's gonna, we're gonna get this game by September, possibly October of this year. But please, for the love of God, do not release this for the past gen. Only for the new gen. Only for PS5, bro. Please, I beg you, Bandai, don't don't do this. Do not do do not do this. Release it for September 2023. Do that. Do that. Absolutely. 100 percent Do that for this year of September. But for the love of holy, do not release this game for PS4. And on any other past gen console. Do not do that. Only for PS5 and Xbox Series X, brother. Please do not do this. Do not, please, good lord, do not. But all in all, I, I said my piece, bro. Like this video in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this? Do you think that this thing is fake? I mean, again, like I said, do you think this is fake or not? And, bro, and, and better yet, share this across social media, okay? Share this post across social media. We need contact. We need a lot of people talking about this. Because this, this is a cold red. This is a cold flipping red, bro. Because this is, again, this is a good news and also a massive bad news for us. Again, spread this around, you know what I'm saying, to every, like, Dragon Ball creator that you know, bro. Because, by God, if this, if this post tends, is somehow tends to be true. Lord have mercy. Like, again, kudos to it being a release window for September. But massive bad news if this game is released for PS4 and all the other consoles. Because again, like I said, I do not want this game to be hindering by any way, shape, and format by passion hardware. But anyways, that's my that's my piece. I was actually recording. I was actually recording um, oh, another video, another Blue Content Gadget for related video. But um. You know what I'm saying? I already finished that, and I just ran across this. So, um, possibly like, like uh, two two days from now, you're probably gonna get that video, and vice versa. But all in all, just like, comment, share this video across the street, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. This is Plus Like signing out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.